Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to have a quick look at Rocknix, which is a fork of Chalos, just enough Linux. And it is an immutable Linux distro aimed at retro emulation for a couple of handhelds, like the PowKitty, Retroid Pocket 5 and GameForce Ace and luckily for me also the Raja Rock 5B with the ARM Rock Chip RK3588. Now they have releases on GitHub and well, I also tried a manual build. So you see here version 2025.03.03. That is not an official release, but it's uh, my manual build. Now, one of the main reasons why I want to show this is that it has a very performant Vulkan driver for the RK3588. So you can see the Linux kernel is 6.1, so probably the vendor kernel from Rockchip. Now in this menu, it only says OpenGL ES, but it also has Vulkan, but I will show you that. And let's see, yeah. So I set the governors to performance and for the GPU, you can even set it to best performance and the GPU driver libmali. So you can choose between Panfrost and libmali. And because it's an immutable distro, then you might have some issues copying uh, games. So what you can do is go to tools and go to the file manager. And it will take you to the directory where you can put your ROMs. Um, well, I don't have Wi-Fi um, on my Racha Rock 5B and Ethernet, well, I wasn't able to get that activated. But for instance, if you connect a USB stick, then you can go uh, a directory up and I think yeah, one more, and then you can go to media. And here you can see that it found my USB stick. And then I have a PlayStation controller connected. So when I press square, you get a menu to copy your ROM. So I already copied it into the right directory, so no need to do that now. And what I also noticed is that with PlayStation 2, um, oh yeah, this is not the menu that I want. This is the menu that I want. Or at least I thought it was. Uh, oh no. I have to go into and then Oops, let's see. Yeah. 
so advanced system options so here you can see that we're using the Vulcan driver and I've set it to widescreen 16 by 9 and I don't know if this is because I connected it to a full HD monitor that it only goes up to three times but there is another option to launch it so if we go to the tools and then we can start Ether SX2 like this and then we can get to the settings so most of the things I kept default so I activated widescreen and widescreen patches and yeah so here I can set it to four times resolution so if I go to um, rooms And now you can see that the resolution is higher than uh, full HD. So I think the rendering looks quite smooth. And then when I press the PlayStation button together with Square, I can go to load a state. So let's go to the text effect where the Raspberry Pi has a lot of performance issues unless you set uh, one setting to low uh, so do remember we're at four times the resolution so here you can see no problem at all on the rockchip rk3588 at four times the resolution and the other thing that I usually test is the demi attack So even at four times the resolution that uh, went smooth so let's see when we take it up one more notch and then we go to five times native
So now when that dummy attack comes, you can see that you have some performance issues. But yeah, I was really surprised to see that I had to take it up to five times the resolution to see performance issues with the demi attack because from what I remember uh, previously with the Rockchip RK3588 I already saw that performance issue with two times the resolution so we really have a performant Vulcan driver here and I don't think the Raspberry Pi 5 is able to match this and I think now that we have a performance Vulcan driver, yeah, that the Rockchip RK3588 really is the better choice for retro emulation. And I also hope that we can get RPC3 running on the Rockchip RK3588 with the Vulcan driver. Uh, so not just in Android, but hopefully on Linux, because I think with Linux, we can get a bit more performance out of it than on Android. But again, I'm really happy with Rocknix, with the Vulcan driver for the Rockchip RK3588. And some people might argue that, yes, it has taken a couple of years, but I think now we really see the full potential of this SoC. So if you have an RK3588 device, uh, check if it is compatible with Rocknix. And I think you will have a very good time with retro emulation. This is all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.